Hello Cancer, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. This is your reading for June 1st through 15th, 2017. I'm so sorry that these are late. I am actually moving and starting another job. So I've been very, very busy um, packing and looking and everything. I apologize about that, but I'm really trying to get all the readings done for the whole month and upload them within the next two weeks. So that can all be done and I can spend time on that and focus on the private readings. Um, also, this is the sixth month, which is June, and it's about others, how we relate to others, how we deal with others, how others deal with us. Okay, also about duties and service, our foundations in our work or um, what we hold dear or what we've been working on. Uh, I want to say like work, but it's more like if you've been supporting someone, um, that stuff is going to come under scrutiny this month okay so you have the star card here great great card for your desk your lesson for this time um it's about faith and healing and inspiration being made anew ah oh, sacrifice is your lesson Hmm. I feel like you're paused. There's a time there. Mm, I feel like you've been healing and it's time for you to. Okay, no, I feel like you've been pausing and it's time for you to actually heal. Okay, make a wish. Um, for some of you, this is like the, I don't want to say last ditch effort, but it kind of is for you to make a decision on something that you haven't been making a decision on. It's time for you to take control for yourself. Um, I feel like you need to step away from some people that are not good for you. Okay. Um, helpless and hopeless and not necessarily people but situations as well I just wanted to say that helpless and hopeless is in your uh, relationships or other sector and this is the eight of swords and the eight of swords is about being restricted ha having fear or confusion okay being isolated in your own thoughts and your own mind so it feels like an addiction maybe jail something like prison is what I'm hearing um, being trapped in something and it's like prison whether it be addiction relationship situation contracts that's what it feels like and it's time for you to do introspection, obviously, while in that pause that you're in. But you also need to be healing, not just pausing, not just standing still. Okay. Career, you have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. Someone wants to go out and do something. Okay. It's time for you to, if you want to craft, if you want to make furniture, if you want to do anything, this is a chance for you to do it, to express yourself. Maybe you've never painted before and you want to paint, go out and paint. Maybe you want to be a photographer, take pictures, take as many images as you can and perfect your hobby express yourself it's time for you to express yourself i feel like you're trapped in something that is not healthy and you're not able to get some part of yourself out that needs to come out so spirit is asking you to to find a way to express yourself in a creative manner you have soulmate there is a soulmate involved in this situation. 
Now, I almost think that they're a side part of this. Um, this is why I say that. Um, and when I mean side part, I mean they're not the main focus of this reading. The main focus is you. Okay. The soulmate is almost like residual energy, like something that you could have or something that is a, like a support to you. Okay. This is not like a twin flame. I have to specify that. This is definitely a soulmate card because I don't feel any twin flame-ness off of this. A soulmate comes around to teach you something and I feel like this person is either teaching you or has taught you a lesson and that's why it comes up because it it needs an honorable mention. Okay. Romance you have deception. Exactly. The reason why you have deception here is because I feel as though you've been trying to cover up whatever this issue is. Uh, I feel tight. I feel bound. And, and it's because and it, it's um, you're tied into whatever this is, whatever this feeling is that makes you trapped, whether it's an addiction or thoughts or feelings or or anything of that nature and and some part of you needs to come out you need to be able to get something out you need to be able to express you need to be able to release thank you spirit that's the word i was looking for release surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself wow thank you spirit let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar in your life. Yes. Okay. You are a new person. You are growing. This soulmate came into your life and set you on a, I don't want to say a collision course, but a course to bettering yourself. Okay. <laughs> and it's time for you to surrender those old beliefs and move into the new ones. You're a new person. Okay. You don't have to stay the same. You don't and you won't if you want to grow in spiritual or in a mental way. You have to let those old beliefs go about yourself. That's deception. You're deceiving yourself. I feel like you deceived yourself in love too. That's your love card. With this soulmate, you deceived yourself. Like almost like you could have been with them, but you deceived yourself. Or maybe they deceived you. So I'm not going to say that. This could go both ways as well. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. And I feel like in the past you were indecisive. You didn't know what to do. You were just kind of standing there. And that's okay with the sacrifice card. Um, but, but it does come a time when you do have to get out. You do have to release yourself. Uh, for some of you, you want to say something. It's time for you to say something. And that's the creative expression. It doesn't necessarily have to be art. Okay. But the thing is, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision about what you want. Your intuition has been telling you to do things and you haven't been listening. This is the time to listen to your intuition. It can't really scream at you. It doesn't really have a voice. Okay. So, so you have to, you have to pay attention. You have to open that third eye and that crown chakra. Okay. So that is the Oracle part of your reading. And this will be the full spread. If you order a reading from me. Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, Chariot, Knight of Cups in Reverse, Five of Wands, Strength, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, Oof. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles. Your overall energy is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is about you thinking about yourself as a whole, your security. This is about you needing to take control, okay? Um, this is about you having others watching you, okay? this not the support of others but i almost feel like i almost feel like you're trying to get yourself together and there are others around you that will not allow you or that are hard or making it hard for you it could be others and it also could be addictions i do 
feel like these people could be addictions as well. They could be objects and not just people, okay? But you're spending this time trying to, to do for yourself, trying to gain for yourself, okay? You are the Knight of Pentacles right now. So you're either embodying that earth energy or you or there is an earth person. OK, and this is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. You could be thinking about this person and thinking about how to get to them. OK, or they could be trying to make an effort to move to you. And these and the pentacles are very um secure so they want an actual relationship this is not a fling but what they're trying to do is build with you okay they're trying to build you're not ready <laughs> you're either not ready or you just don't see it you're not paying attention there are other things going on in your life possibly okay maybe you're too busy having fun yeah the thing it's really funny because uh, there's a standstill here so there's no growth even though one person is trying to make this relationship or this situation grow, it's not growing. OK, and uh, it could be due to legal matters because justice always has to do with legal legal. Um, you're also trying to balance your life. And I feel like this is just not a part of it. Exactly. It's just not a part of it. You have too many things going on. You have too many conflicts either within yourself or with the other people around you. Okay. So that's why it's at a standstill. You do not see the, you don't see the long term. Okay. You're having a hard time balancing this energy. You're having a hard time because it's kind of open and up in the air right now at the moment. Um, you're trying to think clearly and take the leap, but that's what's the hardest part for you is finding that balance so you can do that. It's like, I almost feel like you're not ready, but you should be ready for some of you. Some, yeah, that's just for some though. And for those of you who are not ready, it's like, you just can't seem to balance it or you just can't seem to find a way to make it work. In the past, I feel as though you were very adamant about this relationship or situation moving forward. Things were moving. Maybe you're moving. Um, maybe you were traveling. Yeah, it looks like you were either coming into something like traveling to this person or you just had the wheel to really make this work. Um, the death card comes up because it means that you were trying to reinvent this relationship or start it over again. It was like you were clear. You had enlightenment, you were happy, and then you got confused. Okay, you started to go back into an illusion or maybe drinking or, or something of that nature. Or they, or this could be them as well, okay? Yeah, and you decided just not to fight because it was such a hard road to, and you just want to be happy. You is if it, I feel like you just want to be happy doing what you want to do, um, and this, whatever it is that you want to do, or the people that's been that were around you came while you were trying to work on this relationship, and that's where you are now, which is making it a hard road for you because you don't. I almost feel like you don't even want to do it. You know you should, but you don't. <laughs> So in the future, you have the Knight of Cups. This is the near future, actually. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Cups in reverse says to me that you're still not ready. Or they're not ready. And it could be a water sign. Um, water. Cancer. 
Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, they're not ready. They're moody. Their emotions switch around. Or that could be your energy as well. And you just don't know what you want to do. You're, you're too busy having fun. You're not ready to settle down, possibly. Um, so things are at a standstill. We've already established that. And because you're out having a good time, it's like you start to realize that you made the wrong choice. You're starting to reevaluate. Reality is starting to hit you. And you're thinking about the things that you're investing your time in that is not right for you. And you're trying to figure out how to invest back into what you were in before. Okay. Because it, you realize that in the core way, it made you happy. Okay, but I almost feel like this person is probably being cold towards you or might be being cold or they could be dealing with a air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, and that could be blocking you as well. Five of Wands is your hopes. Okay, it's almost like you hope that you can fight through this. I almost see that you hope that you can have an argument with them because that means that they'll be communicating with you. Yeah, and that would give you some kind of direction out of being in this stagnant energy with them because they're not moving. They're not moving. Your strength is strength. Beautiful. Um, so, so your strength is that you can tame, you can tame your demons whenever you want. You can tame your weaknesses whenever you want. You can, you just have to do it. And that's what strength is about. Strength is about taming, about having patience, about being kind, about having courage to do things for yourself, to have control to be able to tame these things because you have a rough road ahead to your happiness okay you have a rough road because what you've been doing even though it makes you happen happy emotionally it's not growing you I feel and it's going to be hard to let it go because that's what you know to be happy or your happy place or happy situation so your fears is the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is about balance, okay? So your fear is having to balance, okay? It's like you're gonna have to pay attention to what's going around or what's going on and you're gonna have to balance and it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be fun. It's, it's gonna step you out of that energy and right right you have a fear of rejection okay obviously that's what that is um, that's where the balance comes in it's like the message that you have to give if, it, if it'll be juggled if it will be accepted um, you have a fear of rejection so that's what's stopping you from giving or a fear of criticism or a fear of somebody telling you what to do okay and it's not helping you in the long in the long haul it's really not it's just fear and you have to let fears go because you're not moving <laughs> and um the queen of wands is your oh 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 is your weakness okay and i have different things for different people for some of you that's partying that's feeling good that's going out and having a good time that's your weakness it could be a fire sign and this fire sign is really vivacious and you really like them possibly young um fun that's your weakness it's either you having a good old time or someone else that you seem to have some sort of uh, sexual attraction or bond to passionate bond They keep coming in and out, okay, which is making it hard for you to move on. And um, 
but there's something that you need to work on you need to work on your there's something that you need to work on yeah you need to work on holding on to your security okay and or holding on to what you had it's like you're not seeing that part or you're you're um kind of ignoring it pushing it to the side but you need to take a risk step out on faith yeah you need to step out on faith um because you're not listening to your intuition okay there is an imbalance when it comes to being in harmony with your inner self okay because you're not listening you need to do a reality check Okay, it's like time for you to snap out of it because you have an opportunity for security here, a job, a home, something that you need to be focusing on and you haven't taken that risk, but it's spirit is telling you to take that risk. Okay, in your environment, you have the six of wands, the six of wands, because I feel like whoever this is or whoever these people are, they are very um, I don't want to say supportive, but they egg you on. Okay. Or, um, they give you encouragement. They give you encouragement to do things that are not good is what I'm seeing. Okay. Because it's like you're apart from where you should be. This breakup, separation, broken trust, or parting. It's like a disharmony in, within your situation. And you need to take control because you need to see what the universe is offering you. And by being around these people or in this situation, you're not seeing that. Okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep forward doing what you're doing, you're going to be in trouble. And... It's just about your family and friends will not help you. You'll be by yourself. You won't have that support, okay? Um, you'll just have whatever these people are that are not exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Whoever these people are that keep offering you things that are not good. It's like the encouragement that they're giving is not positive, Okay, and it's not helping you grow, but there is a off or someone, it may be a water sign as well. Someone is offering you, I'm sorry, and water is Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, but someone is offering you a chance to build or grow or invest some time, and um, it's more secure because you have to think about yourself. It's like this bad news comes in and then you have to think about yourself. So you need to think about yourself, Cancer. Yeah, because these keep coming up. It's time for you to awaken that part in you that you just don't really feel like dealing with and deal with it. I mean, really, because enlightenment is there, okay? If you do not, you will not have the support of the people you really need, okay? Okay, Cancer, that was your reading. I hope that it resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That is in the description box below. I will see you for the mid-months. I love you. Love and light. Bye-bye.